For decades, UV light has been used as a disinfectant. No, not by shining it inside anybody's body. In fact, the kind of UV light being used to fight coronavirus on surfaces is incredibly dangerous for people, which is why, as Liz Nislaw shows us, it requires a very different cleaning tactic. Clean up on aisle five may have new meaning. Here in the warehouse of the Greater Boston Food Bank, this robot is on a test mission to disinfect surfaces and neutralize airborne forms of coronavirus. Created by MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory and Ava Robotics, it uses a form of UV light called UVC. Ultraviolet germicidal irradiation, uh, specifically Shining uh, UVC light at different surfaces can neutralize and kill various microorganisms. This type of technology is effective at neutralizing different types of coronaviruses. UVC destroys a virus's ability to replicate, but how much virus is killed depends on the dosage and duration. Here, an estimated 90% of coronavirus would be neutralized relatively quickly. Our robot can cover this staging area of the warehouse, which is approximately 4,000 square feet, in about a half hour. It could potentially work in many other large spaces, like grocery stores and schools. The pandemic has triggered a wave of new UVC uses. In New York City, pulses of UVC light are being used to disinfect empty subway cars and buses. It's a million-dollar pilot to test portable UV lamps as part of nightly cleaning. And you may have already wished that airplane lavatories could be self-cleaning. Boeing is testing various forms of UVC light to disinfect washrooms between uses and clean cabins. It's not just one thing that's going to solve uh, all of the issues of the virus. It's going to be um, disinfection. It's going to be screening. It's going to be masks. It's going to be, I mean, there's a variety of things. And coronavirus has spawned hundreds of home UV devices, from room cleaners to phone disinfectors. Experts say for them to work, they need to be UVC, not other types of UV. Even still, buyer beware. A lot of the devices you find in social media, eBay, Amazon, uh, popping up on your Facebook, uh, quite honestly, are unregulated. Our experience has been many of them are, are rubbish, to be honest. So when it comes to coronavirus, it takes good engineering and research to make sure a UV device has a real license to kill. Liz Nislaus, WGBH News. While experts agree that UV disinfection is an important part of reducing the spread of coronavirus, they assure us washing hands and wearing masks are still a necessity.